Hey, hello, Ron Gray, Paul McLean here at Crestview RV, all shave-headed. Um, this is her, let's take a look at it. It's not cleaned on the outside, um, so I'll get as close as I can to the paint and the uh, areas in question from your phone call, but I thought I'd show you the roof as well. Two ACs, of course, slide-out toppers, and some type of satellites. I'm not real familiar with these. That's a triple vision something or other. And this looks to be like an old traveler uh, satellite. I'm not sure. So our techs can get with you on that and update you. I don't know what these antennas are either. I'm not much help up here other than I can show you the roof is in good shape. No water damage downstairs, no odors. It's a pretty clean camper for the, the age of it, and it certainly is priced right. I'm gonna put you in my pocket for a minute, Ron, and go downstairs. I have both the generator and the engine running for us. And a real unique thing about our location here is our RV park right on the premises. So what that means is you get to stay a night or two in this before you leave and make 100% sure everything is 100% solid for you. It's really nice to be able to get the kinks out before you leave. So there's your engine running. I've got all the bays. One thing I was really impressed with was the doors. Usually on these things, one at least one or more of the doors have some kind of issue. These pop right open and shut solid. I'm really impressed with that. Seems like a silly thing to be impressed with, but because I always have issues with that, I'm impressed here that these just work, every single one. Slide out tray on this pass through here. Propane. So, I think you said right front. Well, that's going to come off. Might be a little scratch there, Ron, but not much. Most of this is just road grime. Let's see if that's the corner you were referencing. I think it was. Doesn't seem to be anything on this. Again, it's dirty, but. I don't see any damage. There's your fuses. Coach batteries. I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to turn those off. When we're done, there's your pass through. All these doors are just so solid. Okay, let's go inside. Here's your shore power and some more batteries. I'm gonna leave that open because I'm gonna turn those off as well. I'll try to give you an overall look here at the condition. Full body paint, of course. Just needs a good bath. Why we have it out here in the boondocks instead of featuring it up front. That's why it hasn't sold. Nobody comes back here to look for a camper. So might be a fortunate error on our part. I remember the couple that traded this in. I believe they were the original owners. And I think this is what you were talking about. So this will this will all clean up this part, but this is a small scratch it looks like. I'll bet that buffs out, it's not much. Let's look inside. Tiffin. Okay. Brown leather seats. From your cockpit, you can do a lot of stuff, of course. Generator on and off. Um, 
You can do your step covers from here. So the missus doesn't have to dangle, dangle her feet. That's this button right here. Driver fan. Solar shade. I might leave that down. That feels better already. <laughs> uh, nightshade. Say goodnight to the world completely after traveling to the Grand Tetons or the Grand Canyon or the Great Lakes or Glacier National Park. Um, generator start here, map light, door light, I don't know what that's turning on and off, radio, AC, uh, air horn, that's always fun, yeah. come on, um, air brake assist, ICC flash, don't know what that is. Your transmission, engine preheat, your auxiliary start, if you needed to start it from your coach batteries, you could. Air brake and your leveling. Of course, front, back, and side cameras. I mean, back and side cameras, I don't think it has a front camera. Let's look at the interior. Tile floors, of course, super. Just beautiful. Man, for a buck twenty or whatever we're asking for this, it is a lot of coach. All solid wood. Let's see if they wrap anything. Oh, they don't. So even this is not wrapped wood. This is solid wood here. I should have known that. I do not know how to turn these on. Yes, I do. Gorgeous. Come on. Solid surface countertops, of course. Yeah, this is home. This is home. I don't know how this works. So this comes out as more counter space, I think. No, it's just drawers. But some, somehow this whole thing comes out. I probably don't know how to do that. I think this whole thing slides out for more counter space. But they, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, look how long these drawers are. Holy moly, cacholi. So no oven. They wanted storage instead. That's what most people want. So instead of oven, you got storage and more storage. You have a convection microwave, however. I'm liking this more and more. I don't know how to turn those lights on. But there's a way. Real backsplash, no faking it. Tile backsplash. Here is your, so what about TV? So your TV is there. That's the only odd thing about this is the placement of the TV. Normally there would be maybe a TV here. Oh, but there's another one there, there you go. And another TV here. So wherever you're sitting, you got access to it. And then, hope I'm not making you dizzy. I'm moving a little quick here. Pretty. And this light, I don't, there we go. So you can change the mood in this thing any way you want once you got it all set up. Residential refrigerator, of course. I don't know what that is. That's art. So that's why it escapes me. <laughs> Residential fridge, basement freezer. I guess that's just art as well. Tons of storage. Here's our bathroom. Mid-bath, split bath, which is the way I like them. There's a lock, of course. 
Very nice. All one piece molded, no chance of leaking through there. There's a the little seat. And solid surface again here. What do we think these are? Oh, it's going to be your fan, so it's going to adjust this fan here, I think. And the split bath advantage is two people can be getting ready at once. So you have two sinks to prepare for your day of adventure. Porcelain toilet, of course. And then killer mattress. They put an aftermarket mattress on this. King bed. The advantage of these diesel pushers, of course, is the engine's back here, so when you're driving, it's super quiet. And then if you're boondocking, the generator is way 40 feet up there up front while you're sleeping down here, so that's a perfect way to do that. Ceiling fan. Third television because America. More solid surface countertops. More storage. Close hamper. That might close. It does. So here's the question. Does this have, I don't think it has washer dryer. It doesn't. So if you want a washer dryer, that's where that's going to go. And then your closet here. With a safe. And this has a safe key because I was wondering what it was and it said safe key on it. That's not where the safe is though. I guess the safe's pretty well hidden. Somewhere in here there's a safe because there's a safe key. So I hope this helps uh, Ron. Holler back with any questions you might have. I hope that was the section of the paint that you were questioning. It's minimal if anything. So I'm going to text this to you, Ron, but you'll have my cell phone number, which is 406-696-4750, Phaeton, at a steel price. Let's go adventuring. <laughs>